Welcome back! In this video, we will talk about how to translate a physical system into a hydraulic model and how to build that hydraulic model with Wanda. When modeling a pipeline system, we need to translate a physical system into a hydraulic model. This process imposes several questions. First, what are we trying to calculate? How accurate should it be or how detailed the hydraulic model should be? What behavior do we expect to see? And what are the relevant components in the hydraulic model? First and foremost, to answer these questions, some hydraulic understanding is necessary. In addition, knowledge of the pipeline system is required in order to build the hydraulic model. Let's try to build a hydraulic model from the following physical pipeline system together. The system is made up of gravity system with a reservoir which is on a hill with an elevation of 20 meters. And it's connected to a one kilometer pipeline which is running down to a tank with two valves at the end. An open valve which connects to the tank and an open end closed valve. The tank has an increasing surface area and it's located at an elevation of zero meters. To properly model the pipeline system, we need to ask ourselves what are the relevant components and characteristics. In addition, we need to anticipate what is going to happen in order to evaluate the accuracy of the modeling results. The answers to those questions for this simple pipeline system are quite trivial. Due to the gravitational acceleration, the water will flow from the reservoir, which has a constant water level, to the tank, in which the water level will rise, resulting in a decrease in the hydraulic gradient in the system. The decrease in the hydraulic gradient of the system and the fact that the surface area of the storage tank increases with a higher water level cause the increase of the water level in the tank to occur with a decreasing pace. The relevant components to model are the reservoir, pipeline, the green valve, and the storage tank. Now, let's go to Wanda and build this hydraulic model together. We start with an empty, clean diagram. For the reservoir, we use a bound H reservoir. For the storage tank, we use a component with um, limited area and we use a pipe and we use a valve and we use the connector or equally what can be called a node to connect the different components in the hydraulic model. We can use the text tool to name our system gravity system. Gravity system. In the next video, we will learn how to insert uh, values for the different parameters of all the hydraulic components in the system.